Ooh, what is up you guys? And of course, welcome to another video from yours truly, The Scarender. And today I have a very, very simple video of Pocket Topics. And that is that we are actually going to look more in-depth into, of course, the chlorophyll sweepers. Now, most of you guys know exactly what that means. Usually the first thought is, alright, sun sweepers. Yeah, we get it. The thing is with quote-unquote sun sweeper is that first of all there aren't really too many uh, the best kind of sun sweepers is of course the chlorophyll boosters which of course boosts the speed which is realized a double the speed but then worst part about it is that they are only grass mounds the ones that use chlorophyll are only grass and that is both a blessing and curse of course the blessing is that all right some of these can use the lies of growth which boosts special attack and special or special attack and, and attack uh, times two, which is really nice. And of course, a conjunction with, of course, possible weather ball, which will give them, of course, a 100 base fire move. Now, the negative part, they are being hit super effectively by, of course, fire, which means that they are very likely to be taken out with that in mind. Now, I was to actually showcase all of them, but do realize that not all Pokemons are good chlorophyll uh, setters, definitely. So a bit of a shout out to, of course, like of Tropius, which is not a good mon when it comes to chlorophyll boost. Uh, Cherubi, not chlorophyll, but definitely a sun mon in all ways of extent with its possible ability. Not gonna make the cut here, but the ones that did... I do believe these guys are the best of the best. And we are just going to go as the list goes on. And it's actually, it's going to show you what I think is the best or the worst one. And go through them till we actually see the best. I can't believe I could mess that up, to be honest. But anyway, let's see the first one. And by no surprise, I should say, uh, the first one is Executor. Now, Executor is definitely one of my favorite favorite mods it's very very strict very specific it's more famous for its harvest uh, hidden ability and the executor was actually very very favorable till i do believe generation five i think where the downfall was starting was around there obviously a lot of bug mods got really fast and it really couldn't hold its own grass psychic not the best typing now selby pulls that off yes but that's about it. And did you know that Celebi is actually more defensive than Executor? It has more HP, more defense, and more special defense. So that's the reason why. Now, the reason I take up Executor is because I was really trying to try it out the other day. And I really wanted to showcase that it's, it is a possible um, chlorophyll sweeper. And I used it with Specs Solar Beam in the sun. While extremely... Extremely simplistic, I'm not gonna even deny that fact. It did take some chaos, so it's not too shabby. And of course, being resist to Earthquake, it's not too shabby either. Uh, biggest perk of that is, of course, that uh, you your average um, Grassmon are usually born with, of course, the pretty much the nastiest kind of combination, which of course Poison, which is a good combo. But, of course, it leaves the, um, the ground damage for neutral. So it's going to soak that, and being fairly defensive, it can pull that off really nicely. But there's where it all ends. I don't recommend Executor ever, but if you want to use it as a possible um, chlorophyll sweeper, then it's not too shabby. I, I give it a pass. And it's, it's of course, a bottom of the list. Uh, next one, Leafeon. And Leafeon, my people here, I'm just going to say that to this. It's really good. Like, this is probably one of the few mods that you don't really need to go out of the way to actually invest fully speed on this. Uh, you should have some speed. Um, it has a natural high attack, has like a sword stance, has, of course, knockoff and leaf blade. Now, obviously, the move pool of a leaf young is what makes it, I shouldn't say bad, but limited. Limited is probably the better word because it really can't utilize itself too much. Once, of course, use X Sister has not access to like a superpower, which is really unfortunate. Uh, Leafeon as its own is actually not too bad. It's extremely defensive. Its special defense has things to 
say that it definitely is lacking, but at the same time, um, it can take a hit, maybe not in the sun, and it's really, really speedy, which makes sure it always, or very likely, hit first. So Leafeon gets a pass out of its stats being extremely good distributed, too bad his move pool is not as well distributed. But one that is, is Sourcebuck. And pretty much the same kind of mon as Leafeon, but a bit broader in move pool, has um, extra typing with of course normal typing, which usually is a bad typing, not gonna lie about that. But in this case it kind of works because that leaves it with like, extra power behind it. And it has access to high jump kick and wild charge too, which makes sure that it can actually maintain itself rather nicely. Now it has sap zipper, which is also a good ability. And Saucepack, I do believe, gets sword stance, which is even nicer. I might have lied about that one. I do believe it gets it. Um, yes, it gets it. I was actually feeling unsure. Now the drawback of Saucepack is, of course, its stab in grass. It's fairly weak, not as... Not a pedal blister or anything like that. It has horn leech, which is it's decent, but a lot more could have been required. And it's also one of the monsters is really speedy, doesn't really need all that speed. Once the chlorophyll hits off, you can actually invest it in something else. And just overall, it's a very, very good attacker. It could have been a bit stronger, like, like Leafeon, you know, 110 base attack is really nice. And it just lacks some of its defenses, but it also, also makes up on that, of course, in its massive move pool so source park definitely one of the cooler one now we get to our my top three and i had a rough time deciding which one i should put where but it came down to this my number three should probably be victory bell and for to be honest for a very good reason it is a freaking beast on the battlefield it has such an extremely good move pool or it's not a broad move pool but it's a good one at least um, working itself is a very really really nice mix sweeper. 70 base speed, really all you need if you want to outspeed the likes of 150 base, I guess is the worst one. That would mean you would put yourself as timid and 214 EVs to make sure you outspeed the things that matters. But outside of that, it has a really, really good special attack and attack that's access to sucker punch to maintain itself, as access to weather ball as men forementioned, which is real nice, together with of course solar beam and sludge bomb, which makes it Really, really tough to beat. I don't really need to go in much more detail about it. Victory Bell, if you had a chlorophyll behind it, it's hard to stop. It really is hard to stop. Um, you know, of course, being not weak to priority also make it a lot worse to deal with. I really, really hate facing this one myself, mostly because I rarely see it, so when I do, it definitely catch me off guard. And of course, the Victory Bell gets access to growth, which means that it could become even stronger and pretty much more hunting to deal with. Uh, my second pick here um, is obviously going to state which one is number one, if you guys are Chlorophyll Sweeper, that is. But my number two pick is Shift Tree. And it took a lot of me to actually, because there are between two mods. Obviously, they're both are really, really nice, and it's definitely hard to choose between the two. But Shift 3 comes here at number two mostly because he is really, really, really solid as a mixed sweeper. Chlorophyll doesn't necessarily help it all that much. It functions on its own. Um, it is not a mod that you want to have chlorophyll. You don't want to be required chlorophyll to work properly. But with chlorophyll you do solve a lot of issues with it. And of course, the dark typing with grass makes sure lack of sucker punch and knockoff really, really, really stinks. And of course, in combination with having access to nasty plot, sword stance, or possible growth, this thing is just a nightmare to deal with. And of course, it has ice wind to make sure that even a switching can outspeed it. So it, it's real nice. I actually fully, fully enjoy this mod. And I don't really need to go into much more detail. It is a mod that definitely stand tall against a lot of mods. And with Chlorophyll behind it, you can definitely invest in its other stats where it's just very dangerous with a very, very high uh, base attack of 100, but much slow spike, of course. And special attack of 90, respectable, not the, not the biggest threat, but if the one growth, it's a big deal. Um, for my last pick, freaking motorcycle outside, of course. My last pick is Venusaur, and actually that was actually kind of a nice and easy way to solve this up, but the reason we put freaking 
Venusaur here is because of two reasons, actually. First of all, much like Venusaur, it has a really, really decent move pool. Grass Poison, good defensive typhoon. It has an OK attack and has an FLOK special attack. It has access to like a Solar Beam, Giga Drain, and of course Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, no, Sludge Bomb. And um, that's very OK. It doesn't have access to Weather Ball, but what it does have access to is the likes of Earthquake. It has ways of hurting with other attacking moves outside of that. And it's being really bulky together with Synthesis. It can maintain itself really nicely, it doesn't really struggle defensively like its other grass chlorophyll sweepers. And with 80 base, it's actually it's really fast. So it's a fast mon, hard to kill, high attack and special attack in the sun, of course. And like I said, Synthesis makes sure that it gets even harder to kill. And a very decent move pool behind it. Now we could go with the likes of Hidden Power Fire. I do believe that's fair to make sure, or to make up, of course, not accessing Weather Ball. But you do as you wish. Um, it's a real nice mon. It has access to Knockoff, I believe, too. So it's not too shabby. And yeah, pretty much that's the Grass Sweepers. Like, that's something I really, really, really want to just for mention. Uh, it should be noted that Grass Mons are struggling when it comes to Sun Teams. But if they are used right, they are pretty darn hard to kill. And you guys have now seen the six mons that I believe are a worthy sweepers when it comes to the sun. And I do believe both Venusaur, Shifter, and Victory Bell are kind of niche in OU. I do believe the lesser one, Leafeon, Saucebuck, and Executor could work in OU. Probably not as much. They are definitely more niche in the lower tier, which means that they don't have a drop behind them, which like, makes them less effective. But Venusaur, Victor Bell, and Shift 3, yeah, they can hold their own. So I'll do highly recommend you guys try them out. And uh, I'll make sure to show you guys, of course, my findings of these, um, the tactics I've been using for a, for a quite some time now. And of course, I'm going to show you in the near future a Victory Bell in OU. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to, of course, write down your own thoughts on chlorophyll sweepers or sun teams in general. Are they lesser? Uh, effect or less effective than the other kind of uh, weather environments or are they quite decent you just have to play your cards right make sure to write it down below and i'll read them as fast as possible thank you so much for watching pocket talk Bix, and i'll see you next week with the next subject until then